Welcome back to the channel. All right, season 40 of the war season is starting. I could not be more excited for this. I am an SSX one now. I'm delighted to be there. There's nothing exciting, nothing, no, nothing drama. I've left for Loki. I left on my own reasons and I still absolutely love those guys. In fact, when you see my Vega Battlegrounds Championship come back, you're gonna see how many four Loki friends are still in there. No drama, it just happened. Uh, and that's about all I'm probably gonna say on it. So let's get to it because the stars of the show are Absorbing Man and America Chavez. I've put out the video on America Chavez when her buff was in the beta. I told you, she's gonna be a monster. You're gonna see some of these things here. I will eventually get the essentials video out on her on the how to play and the whole thing. Carl, Absorbing Man, we've already done the, uh, the essentials video. I hope you have enjoyed that. And now you're gonna see just with some basic playing of him, he can dominate the war map. Both these, I think, are going to be essential. I'm, oh, I, I, well, let's get into it. We've got three fights from each of them. Uh, so here we are. We're going to go up against this domino. I just want to point out to you, Hazard, Shift, Incinerate, and Poison. Not all of them are going to be that node, by the way. I know, I know, I know. That's what you're used to seeing. We've got this insult to injury and all these things. So I'm going to pick his Magma form, right? I'm going to do it for two reasons. One is the, um, is the node itself, right? I want to be immune to that. I do have the uh, Immortal Abomination Synergy with me, which provides the poison resistance. We go over all of this in the Essentials video, okay? But I want to show you, you don't need to do all the fancy stuff all the time, especially with these war fights that are very, very difficult. This is a very difficult defender on a very difficult node. So he's going to now be immune to all this stuff. But the additional thing that came along with that is all of that energy resistance and crit fail. Crit fail does energy damage. You can see we're crit failing. You can see that diamond, whatever, the domino, I don't know what the heck it is, but that passive that we usually hate that does all that damage to us, you can see it and it's not that bad. I'm surviving this. I'm not boosted at all. And we're doing very good things. So the node is pausing um, our form for us. We've got to our special two, we threw it. We've got 96 of those morph charges. Now, uh, just, you know, I think a lot of us know this now, but I was unlucky. So you do not evade her specials when you're unlucky. It's gonna fail, you're gonna get hit, bad things are gonna happen. Uh, and Absorbing Man, as great as he is, maybe wouldn't sorry that. So there we go. Uh, we're gonna get to that. I think I just throw my special too. I didn't even medium light medium. I, I intentionally wanted to take these fights as simply as possible. One, for the video, and two is, I just wanted to make sure it all worked the way I thought it was gonna work, and it absolutely does. We're gonna take a fight later, not this node. We're gonna heal up uh, while destroying an opponent, so it's a good thing. So uh, there we go. The morph charges, I, it looks like I did finally do the medium light medium there. I got the nice vulnerability on. A minute and 20 seconds, taking out a rank four domino on a very difficult node, barely lose any health. You gotta absolutely love it. All right, now this one's awesome. This is not a hazard shift node. We're gonna go up against this immortal abom abomination and you're like, absorbing man? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, uh, I like the magma, if nothing else matters. I've talked about that. Cam uh, has made some really smart uh, reasons for why going for the Uru, the other form makes a lot of sense. I just happen to like magma. Maybe I'll change over time, but who knows, we'll see. Uh, also, well, actually part of my thinking too is I wanted to get the energy damage there against this immortal abomination, right? He can get that physical resistance, things like that going. Now, here's the thing, because I, this is so cool. Because I have the Immortal Abomination Synergy, I'm immune, Absorbing Man is immune to poison. I can just slow play this. I can just slow play this. Every time Immortal Abomination tries to poison me, it's going to pause my form. Even though my form isn't making me uh, immune to poison, the synergy is. So you can see how nice and quickly, you can see how much we're healing up. We've got the Petrify on us, all this stuff. We're just utilizing this to heal up. I'm throwing five hit combos. I am parrying. Uh, I think I finally did decide, I'm like, oh yeah, wait, I'm totally poisoning you. I'm gonna push him to a special two. It doesn't matter. You can see it took off about 1% health and then because of the petrify, the debuff on willpower, we've also got the weaknesses. You can see we're now healing for 218 a tick thanks to all of this. And we are doing plenty of damage. We all know how big Immortal Abomination's health pool is. We've got the incinerates going. It took about a minute. Uh, we're a minute, 11 seconds. We healed up during this. You get him in the right matchups. This really feels, I, I, there's similarities to Gallon. For me, it feels a little bit more like uh, the Overseer, because with Overseer, you do need to spend time doing things, right? But as you're immune to stuff and things are happening, you're gonna power up and get caught in it, and then you just blitz people. 
Uh, Gallon, you know, in those nodes with the armor up. Remember, I talked to you about this a lot. I'm like, I don't think it's going to get nerfed because I think this is what he was intended to do. When it's against those armor ups, you just throw a special one, they die. <laughs> this is a little bit different. It takes some time, but Absorbing Man is really powerful. And then this one, this is a very tough fight. This is a rank five. Dr. Doom, Hazard Shift, Shock and Bleed, Conflictor, right? You got to be a little concerned about throwing him uh, all the way red to a special three. We've got Crumbling Armor. If and when I, I don't remember if I intentionally trigger that in this one, because remember, Absorbing Man is also immune to armor break. Another thing that would pause his forms, but also armor breaks are so delicious because they give you uh, those morph charges too. Again, we cover all of this in the uh, essentials video. I know a lot of you have really enjoyed that. I enjoy putting those out. They just take a lot of time. So, all right. Something MP Blaze really discovered, talked about at length is once you have your form refined, remember if you're holding block and they are gaining power, they get those power gains. Once your form's refined, you're actually gonna minimize it by 72% and then you would get it. So I don't know if I actually pull it off here. Maybe I do. So uh, let's see, if I parry him and Conflictor should give him power, it should minimize it significantly and I should get it. I did medium light medium uh, to get my nice little heal, the passive heal going. Remember it's based off of uh, percent health missing. So it's not gonna do a ton with where I'm at. Then we've got the vulnerability up. Uh, yeah, so I'm blocking a lot of these. My health bar is gonna go down. Keep in mind, this is a rank five doom. I am playing this super, super simple. I am not boosted. The node is helping me uh, pause all these things. We've already got 267 morph charges, so I really should uh, medium light medium here and go in. I'm probably trying to bait a special. Yeah, there we go. So I should medium light medium. Let's see if I do. Medium light medium, throw the special because I don't want to refresh magma. Uh, there we go. And so now the sparks should start flying just a bit more. We're healing. Looks like I'm going to medium light medium again. I got another vulnerability up on Doom. And we're just, we're just whittling them down here, right? It's, uh, literally, it's not the right word. It's, this is a rank five doom. We're a minute and 20 seconds uh, in, into the fight and he's already at 6% health. And I think this is gonna finish it. So a minute and 20 seconds, rank five doom, completely unboosted. And we just absolutely destroyed him. Remember, there's the crumbling armor on the node. There was the hazard shift on the node. So these are helping pause it and giving us the morp charges. If you have any questions about this, I highly uh, recommend you check out the Essentials video. It's a, a playlist on my channel. It's right there. It's most, I think it's probably the most recent video I've done actually. I've uh, been a little bit sick and had some stuff going on. So I've been on a little bit of a break. Now, the other star of the show, America Chavez. I knew from the buff, I played the buff up, I got the video out and I was like, she's gonna be a monster now. I thought it was just gonna be in Battlegrounds and trust me, I will show you that too in, a, in another video. But in war, this is surprising me. This is very, very surprising and very, very cool. Now, we're gonna go up against this fight with uh, Mole Man. So we've got the combat digi prowess, spiked armor, blah, 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 right? For the most part, we know how to um, evade Mole Man special, so I'm not really that concerned about it. Spiked armor, you know, that's fine. She has a heal. A lot of people don't know that she has a heal. So uh, we could heal back if we really needed to. Now, she benefits from the current ta attacker tactic, and I'll talk about that in the final fight. But for this one, it's not really going to matter. I mean, I guess it could help prevent him from getting his prowess. But again, we're not planning on getting hit by these specials. But the big thing I want to show you in this particular fight is her stun is passive. So we just want to keep getting him to his specials, baiting those out, and going in and throwing these. Uh, the next special I throw should be relatively big. We've got uh, all three of our dimensions up, which is, means we're going to be supercharged up. Going to go in, uh, the special one. There we go. Let's see. 32% of his health, not bad. I don't think any uh, there was any big crits because I know I've had much bigger specials than that. 50 seconds, done. Dunzos, right? 44 seconds, sorry. Didn't even have to worry about, it. oh, shout out to my boy Sub, uh, Subpar Summoner. I was enjoying watching his video that day in between my war fights. So here we go. Heaven Flow, Knockdown, America Chavez, right back at it. So any sort of debuffs you're putting on her, they're gonna be falling uh, back off, right? You need to knock her down. And then we've all fought America Chavez. She's a menacing defender. When she starts getting those special ones going, she just keeps them coming because she's getting up all of her dimensions. She's getting all that power from those special ones. Well, remember, the beauty is when you fight her with America Chavez, we're gonna uh, finish that off. We've got the negative zone. So we are now decreasing her ability power rate. That's all those extra powers that they get from throwing the special ones. We've got two of them up. Now watch what happens. Your power bar. It didn't even move. It didn't even move. In fact, I think it may have gone down a little bit. I'm gonna emphasize getting my negative zones up. That's the purple one while slowly building up all three of them. Cause remember that's gonna supercharge us a bit. Now she's stun immune there, but she's, de she's not stun immune, she's debuff immune. 
meaning I can still land my passive stun, which is how she's landed. So watch this, watch, watch, watch. Here we go, I'm so excited about this. And we will go ahead and passive stun her. Remember, she was uh, debuff immune, it's a passive, it is not a debuff, and we should go in and finish this. I, I do it off of, yeah, the special one. Plenty of damage, a very, very difficult fight. We don't need to rely on debuffs. We can handle her passive power gain, and we can now do it. We can access all that utility of America Chavez, and her damage is enough where you don't need to stop your utility. You don't need to forgo all of it. You don't need to get rid of it. For, what was that, 50 seconds? 50 seconds. I'm gonna be using, I think we're gonna see her a lot in War this season. I will probably get videos on that, you know me. If it's something new, cool, exciting that you can all use, I enjoy talking about happens in war, I'm gonna make the war video for you. Now, here's this awesome fight against Hulkling. Now, Hulkling benefits from the defender tactic, but so does America Chavez from the attacker one. I'm gonna uh, actually purposely pause this and show it to you. So it's subdue. Basically, there's a 30% chance to apply a six second neutralize. This actually slices both ways for America because she powers up when there is a uh, buffs on the defender. But in a lot of the circumstances, Neutralize is still good because I'm gonna get up all of her uh, zones, right? All three of them. It's gonna supercharge her. And then you can see there's a rich get richer power, meaning whichever champion is more unique buffs would be gaining 12% of a bar of power. So in this fight against Hulkling, I'm gonna utilize the cool thing that Kabam actually did. I suggested that they add Pierce to one of her dimensions, meaning minimize the potency of it. They actually added that. I could not be more excited. But the other one, the purple one, the negative zones, which is going to reduce his ability power rate, right? When Hulkling gets those buffs, he gets that the power. And then if he's getting this a rich get richer um, increase in power too, this could really get ugly very fast. So this Hulkling unfortunately had recoil on. He is poison immune. So, um, but I'm sure I'll get some footage of fights like this. Now I'm going to do my best to alternate between the negative zone, which is that third one. We just said the purple one here. I'm going to make a mistake. I think I'm going to try to punish this too early. Make a mistake somewhere. There it is, uh, which is fine. Now he's got one pierce buff. And so I'm going to cancel out my heavy early on the first hit right there. I should throw, well, no, I guess I didn't. I really was more concerned about the ability power rate over the pierce. I should do it here. Let's see if I do After the first hit of the heavy. There we go. So now uh, we've got, no, I actually did off the second. What the heck was I thinking? Uh, whatever, I'll get a better video out for it, but I'm still talking it through, but I'll get some better fights out examples for this here too. And then I'm gonna throw my SP3, which will get all of my zones going, meaning we're gonna start minimizing Pierce. If he hits us, he's gonna get a little damage back. It's that, this is the second one that we all hate fighting when she's on defense. And then the purple one, the negative zone, meaning we're gonna be decreasing uh, his con his ability power rate. We can go in, you can see she's actually starting to hit fairly hard. It's not uh, tremendous there because none of those crit, but it's not too bad. This will uh, this will look better. <laughs> I'll get better at it. The special three is doing decent, decent damage. I actually have a duel that I will include in uh, the essentials video because she is pretty good for Hulkling. You got to play him a certain way because he still will go indestructible, but minimizing his ability power at gain and minimizing his uh, pierce goes a long, long way. And I happen to know that I might be using her for some more fights against Hulkling in the season. She does benefit from the attacker tactic, which I think ultimately will help her. But without the defender tactic and the attacker tactic, I do still think she is a relatively good option for Hulkling, particularly in war. You can go to your SB3. You're not worried about that taking extra time like you are in Battlegrounds. I hope you're excited for the war season. I hope you've got Absorbing Man. I hope you got America Chavez because she's been impressing the heck out of me. She's been even better in Battlegrounds than I thought she would be. And I'm very excited about getting out more videos on her, Absorbing Man, and the whole thing. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got either of them at a high rank and if you're going to be using them in your upcoming war season. Good luck to all of you. Take care. I hope you either learned something, were entertained, or even better, a little bit of both. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.